We've been hearing a lot about flattening the curve. We're social distancing right now to keep hospitals from becoming overwhelmed. If too many people catch COVID-19 at one time, there won't be enough beds or ventilators to go around. People will die unnecessarily. You know to wash your hands and keep your distance from others and take common sense precautions. This is what we have to do to save lives. We also need to think long-term. We need to prepare for the next pandemic and the one after that. Our immune system becomes weaker with time. Elderly people are always at the highest risk of dying and suffering from long-term complications. You probably know that telomeres are important. During a viral infection, your body needs to rapidly produce immune cells, which means some cells might reach their Hayflick limit and stop dividing. Telomere exhaustion is usually a bad thing, but it's especially bad when you're fighting off an infection. There are a lot of gene therapies with potential to extend healthy longevity, to regenerate everything about us, including our immune system. But thanks to telomerase induction therapy, we may see a future where most people will have a young immune system. Giving people young immune systems is a way to keep the curve as flat as possible. It's a way to reduce the burden of a pandemic on everyone. Longevity research is key to making society more humane and efficient. It's no longer a question of if governments will begin to take it seriously, but when. A dysfunctional immune system doesn't just make it harder to beat infections. It also makes us more susceptible to cancer and chronic inflammation. BioViva and integrative health systems want to keep you young and healthy for as long as possible. That's why we've been making videos and recording weekly discussions about COVID-19, gene therapy, and the future of your health. We hope you join us in the future. We hope that governments and society start to take aging seriously and consider battling it with gene therapy.